I think we we move on further. We have uh, next uh, talk from um, again from Lucky. He would be talking about the sim based uh, spell correction. Welcome back, Lucky. Hi. Uh, so welcome back, everyone. So now, so this one I'm going to talk about the sim spell, the spell correction, and the query segmentation part, which is like the one of the basic uh, things which we need to encounter in e-commerce search searches. So the idea which we uh, so we created a sim spell based uh, customized Java implementation of that. So sim spell is basically written originally by Wolf Grabe and C -Sharp. So we have adopted that and write its Java code. But add on to that, we added some custom customizations to that also. So basically what sim spell comprises of is basically comprises of the single word spelling correction, the compound aware multi word spelling corrections like the word breaking and the word joining part, for an example, nut free chocolates without space and with space. And we added the QWERTY distance to that. So if someone is like typing slices, and in the index, we have slices and olives. So if I look at the edit distance, both have the edit distance one in the beginning. But if I look at the keyboard, I see that compared to sli slice compared to olives, the S and O are basically uh, poles apart. They're at, on the uh, opposite sides of the keyboard. But if I see the V and C of slices and slices, they're basically adjacent. So this gives a major weightage that this is more closer to the original word. So in that case, the QWERTY distance will help us. The other part is we have integrated this sim spell to Solar. Uh, we have created one component on that sim spell so that it can be easily used. So which leverages us to use search engine data as a dictionary. So what happens with uh, any spell correction is like you need to provide a dictionary to that. So if I'm providing a dictionary and I'm having a new brand at, uh, brand at all in my catalog, and if someone misspelled it, it will not get auto-corrected until unless we have that word in our dictionary and our spell character knows about it. So with the leverage of the integration, we get a part where we can read the index data and create that dictionary on either on an, on every commit operation or any reload operation. So that's what we did. And there's one more idea on base of spell is like a context based spelling correction. So context based spelling corrections are like if I have, if I type the M A L K, right, which could be milk or malt. So basically which one would be appropriate. So if a person is like browsing the beverages, and if I, if he types M A L K, then it surely means malt. But if it's like browsing the groceries and he type M A L K, then it means milk. So what we are currently doing is that we are creating context based. We are trying to approach and encounter this problem of context based spelling corrections using the sim spell. So as I mentioned, right, there are examples like nut free without space and scorned milk and in not that we don't even even find to see the skimmed milk result because it's basically correcting of one word and basically splitting of words also. But semi spell is basically a symmetry delete spelling correction algorithm, which basically reduces the complexity of added candidate generation. It's basically much faster and language independent. So basically, we have also created along with QWERTY, we have created the quotes, the keyboard for German. And it is much faster because it basically creates the delete dictionary so that it already pre the added distance at a time while building the dictionary itself. So here are some matrices. So compared to Norwich PK3 lint spell, sim spell performs much better on a 500,000 word dictionary with such time for 1,000 words. So this is what the quality adjacent symmetry matrix we use. So we see that V is connecting to both C, F, G, and B. So we weight them on the basis of like directly connectivity and the diagonal connectivity. So direct connectivity has a very short weightage and diagonal connectivity is slightly higher weightage compared to direct connectivity. And we use the, these weights in the Damrau Levestian calculation where we basically multiply it with the replaced distance. So Damrau Levestian is nothing but the I did uh, basically, uh, what should I say? It's a basically a 
it's a add on to levistian distance which also calculates the transpositions of the words of the characters in this one we basically added add on to it like we added that you can also add weights to specific operations like you can add weights to insert operation delete operation so by default it's all one but if you want to say that it could be a delete probable so you can reduce a delete weight and you can basically play with these weights to find out what could be the possible best approach for you for your ecosystem so this is our accuracy summary so when we index like 3695 indexes and do, did 8060 searches with lucene was giving a lot of false negatives which was 1550 but when we tried with vanilla sim spill it gives 545 false negatives and we when we tried with qwerty based vanilla sim spill it was 573 false negatives similarly the true positives also increased compared to lucene and that's why we plan it to solar to move it to solar so that we can leverage the more accuracy from what we getting from simspin so that's all this is the github link for uh, the customized simspin i've open sourced that it's available in maven central so you can directly use it few companies are already trying to use it and here's my linkedin and thank you everyone that's all i have any questions great super talk i think i was looking forward to forward to this one at least uh, for tonight uh yes we have questions uh there are two questions that i actually had but i think you answered both of them i was wanting to see if we compared it to the existing solar spell checker i think you covered that plus the a uh, plan to incorporate that in solar as well i think you've covered that too so both of my questions as are answered but we have one question from yens and he asked you that um, is there a way to combine keyboard and default uh, distance measures combine keyboard i didn't get that so like combining keyboard and default distance measures as in means if i if i'm getting the question correct it's like you are trying to put the default distance measures along with the qwerty mm -hmm. distance is it if that is the um, question that looks like only, i think that's tough yeah because, i think yes yes we have So uh, another question coming in from Zenit. Uh, he says that you mentioned compounds. Can it handle compounds of three or more words, or compounds that have infixes? Yeah, definitely. So that's what. Uh, yeah, it can handle that. So suppose I'm writing like, I am a fox going to market without spaces and a jumble and without with spaces like in a in a mm -hmm. unformatted for, formatted way. It basically corrects them. It did right. that. Great. Right. Great. I cannot wait to try it actually, and I'll let you know. And I'm really excited that it's getting incorporated into Solar. So uh, that was a great talk and uh, kind of a food for thought for tonight at least. So uh, thank you so much for a great talk, Lucky. I think we'll see you around on the social.